Hello and welcome to The Last Cut. This is Ashley Wagner, world silver medalist, and I am here with Jackie Wong of At Rocker Skating, and we are here to break down the men's event today. So, Jackie, first impressions. This is Jackie Wong, not world silver medalist. Okay, first <laughs> impressions. I mean, it was an electric event, right? Absolutely. I, like, that was, it was so fun to see the different types of styles. I mean, yeah. you and I were just kind of going back and forth being like, Oh wow! Okay, this skater is a totally different skater than the Absolutely. other, the next one. The next one is a totally different one. It just it, it continues to show the kind of the depth and the range of different types of men in men's mm -hmm. skating, right? Yep. Like the the just um, it was it was it was fun to watch. Even you know I I, I hate that Yuma Kagiyama's not here, but like trust me, me too. <laughs> but it it uh, you know it was it was a really good event, especially that second group. Absolutely. So let's start at the top. Kalmiura. Okay. You never know. You never know what you're going to get with Cal, but Cal was so dynamic in this short program. The speed that he goes into every single one of his elements, it's one of those recipes where it either completely works or it's a total disaster. Yeah. And today he just got everything right on the spot. Well, he's he's got he's part of that new generation where the snap up into the jump is mm -hmm. so fast yep. that you, he gets so much room on the way down to just like check out yeah and and the jumps look so beautiful because of that like cow mm -hmm. has that yuma has that Ilya has that right like it's just this 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 sort of like n like new way of doing quads that's so it's 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 really uh I don't know, a little scary. <laughs> it is a little scary because I watch it and I feel like the problem with that technique is that while you really can get the job done, sometimes you have almost too much power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And depending on where you're taking off, it can be a completely different jump on the way down. So moving on to our second place finisher, we have Jun Ma Cha. I adore him. A little Michael Jackson moment. Yeah. Thoughts? What yes. are you feeling? Uh, it, it, the his skating is impeccable, right? Yeah. That was the best quad style I've ever seen him do. I think Absolutely. I've, I've never seen him do like it's it was a, a you know a full pattern down the ice, big jump, big ride out. Like yeah. it was just it was it was a beautiful jump. And the ice coverage is incredible. Yeah, the axle has always been the one that he he, I don't know, if struggle is the right word, but that's the one that he doesn't have the biggest confidence in right mm -hmm. like because it's 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 not the biggest jump for him right it's right. not like a sow he gets it done and that's good but like um you know he just kind of overcooked this one a little bit but yeah. i do like what they're doing this year with his pattern into the axle usually he comes all the way down the center yes to do the axle and and it really highlights the fact that he slows down right before it they're taking him off to a side pattern yep. coming down and the curve really makes it you know, less jarring, I think, yeah. and, and it's part of the choreography. It helps make it a little bit more organic. Yeah. Uh, I, we were talking earlier about him. I'm so excited to have a skater like June on this next quad. I think that we need someone like him, an artist, but also someone who really can deliver quality elements. Yeah. So it'll be really nice to see kind of where he goes over these next four years. All right, so then moving on to third place, we've got Daniel. I who skates at the Skating Club of Boston, which is really cool, and recently arrived. I believe he's been training here since about July. This is one of the best programs I think we've seen from him in a long time. Well, it was it, it was so scary when he had that fall at U.S. Classic, and he had to withdraw from the mm -hmm. free skate, and you're like, oh, no, is his season over? Like, what is going on? I think it was, it was smart probably for him to be like, this doesn't feel right. I'm going to get off the ice right. instead of trying to, like, push through what is an early small competition like it was not worth it yeah, and no. so you saw him come back watered down a little bit right like he was going for two quads in the program in at u.s classic he watered it back down to a one quad program skated well jason brown choreography right like you could see some of those yeah. nuggets in there it was it, it was good to see and you saw at the end he was like yeah i did it yeah it was a good thing it was an overwhelming moment for him and i'm really happy that he paired up with jason brown i think that jason's artistry is going to be really good for him so i'm excited to kind of see how that team really helps solidify him more as an artist as well as a jumper yeah. on top of that all right and then finally we have to talk about Ilya. so not his best performance at all. Coming into this, definitely he has his eye on that top spot, and right now he's finding himself in fourth place after a fall on his quad toe. 
What do you think this means for him going into the free skate? <laughs> Is the quad axle coming in? I mean, the, he he came in saying, I don't know, I don't, I might take the quad axle out. He was practicing it in training with the quad axle yeah. pattern in there. So, yeah, he could turn it into triple axle, but then it changes the rest of his program layout, mm -hmm. right? Because he had that triple let's quad, whoa, triple let's triple axle. Right sequence that that he that he has at the end so um you know we'll see what happens with that but you know we didn't we didn't expect him to be in fourth but also if we rewind back to u.s classic he had a disastrous short program there and then climbed up to 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 win it all so yeah he's got big technical content and you know that that's going to be the advantage that he has there yeah as a uh comeback kid myself he's a skater after my own heart I think as a young athlete capable of a quad axle, which we saw him complete in practice yesterday, I think he is furious. Uh, we saw his face in the kiss and cry. He looks really frustrated with himself, and I think he will absolutely be going for it tomorrow. So we shall see, but stay tuned for that. We will be coming back tomorrow with a full plethora of events here at Skate America. So we will see you tomorrow, and as always, I'm Ashley Wagner, this is Jackie Wong, and have a great night.